Next year is bringing the largest pay raise in decades. It looks like we're going to get the full 5.2% increase. The House of Representatives approved the full amount, which was kind of a shocker because there was the debt ceiling debate that was going back and forth. But there's a few strings attached. There's a couple of caveats. One being they want the chief diversity officer position. They want it removed. They want it completely gone. A lot of chief diversity officer positions were listed last year and this year at the GS-15 level. And that meant that in some areas they were earning up to $183,000 a year. This drew the most outrage at the Pentagon. And they still, they're okay with keeping diversity officers, but they don't want that word chief in there because a chief diversity officer was commanding a higher GS grade. So they want to cap it out at about $92,000 a year. Also, there's some language about prohibiting federal funds being used for a drag show, drag queen story, or similar events. Now, I had no idea that this stuff was even going on. I spend a lot of time in DC. I walk around DC. I never heard of a drag show being funded with federal funds. But you let me know if there's anything going on different in your agency. All right, so what would a 5.2% pay increase mean for you? What would that look like? Well, in the DC area that would take a GS 12 step 5 from 106,000 to 112,000 dollars a year. A GS 13 step 5 from 126,000 to 133,000 dollars a year. Also the overall pay cap would increase the max pay of a GS 15. It would go from 183 to 193,000 dollars a year. Okay, but what if you do not live in Washington, D.C., or maybe you do not live in any major metropolitan area? Let's look at the Russ pay scale, the rest of the United States. A GS-12 Step 5 would go from $93,000 a year to $98,000 a year. A GS-13 Step 5 would go from $111,000 to $116,000 a year. And the max pay of a GS-15 would go from $177,000 to $187,000 a year. Now, we won't know for certain if this 5.2% pay raise actually goes in until later on this year. Year. And another thing that we're going to have to keep an eye on is inflation. How is inflation going to come in? Last year, as you probably remember, we had about a 4% pay raise, which was large considering the historic pay raises, but also inflation was high. If inflation comes in high again this year, we could see, let's say inflation comes in at 6%. Then a 5.2% is not going to be a pay raise at all. That's going to be a, a decrease when it comes to your buying power. And there are other ways that federal government employees will be seeing a pay raise. If you notice recently, the VA just approved their SSR. They approved it in July. So a lot of the 2210 job positions, they're going to be seeing an increase in their pay. And right now, this is going to impact over 7,000 jobs. It'll also be in effect at least until 2027. After that, nobody knows. Other federal agencies also want to implement SSR, such as the Department of Health and Human Services, the State Department, and the Energy Department. There's really a push to get the whole federal government on board with SSR, and if that actually comes into fruition, it'll impact about 100,000 federal employees. The main thing that's holding up the implementation for a lot of agencies is that 1% growth that all federal agencies are currently capped to only grow 1%. That was part of the deal when they decided to extend the budget. Now, the reason VA was able to implement SSR is because they were thinking ahead. They were being proactive. So they used last year funds in order to approve it. Now, if this 5.2% raise is not enough for you, if it's not going to move the needle very much, you really need to look at how you could be getting a promotion. You could be in a position where you're stuck, where there's no room for promotion. In that case, you'd have to start applying. If you're a GS-11 or you're a GS-12 and you're just sitting there for years and years, you have to kind of take your career into your own hands and make the decision to start applying on a daily basis. That's the way you're going to get a, even a higher pay raise. So a pay raise, the annual one, the 5.2%, that's going to be nothing compared if you go to if you go from GS-12 to GS-13. In that case, you're looking at a double-digit pay raise. It's probably 12, 15%. I come across people all the time that stay in their position for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years and they complain about the pay raise. If that's you, really start applying. And if you're currently not a GS-11, 12, or 13, I have a story of a man that just attained a GS-13 job offer. That could benefit you in some ways. If you're interested to learn how he was able to attain a GS-13 job offer in about 90 days, then I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.